Bill's reason for creating the Bill Academy is to fight for a real quality education for black students. The objectives of the Academy are to secure strong, effective community participation in educational decision making through Bill, to develop high quality education for ghetto schools, to develop more creative teachers. I am very greatly pleased that the long, tedious, and arduous work that has gone on for the past few months has come to consummation. The Board of Education is wholly behind the Build Academy, and we hope that we can get these objectives and in the very near future. We hope that this will help us develop new and better ways of preparing teachers for working with people in cities. This is one of the most important things which a college such as ours can do, and for that reason we're particularly happy to be a part of this three-way understanding. We relocated because uh, uh, the, uh, the academy got to be very popular, and Old School 32 on Clinton Street did not have all of the facilities that we needed in the school. For instance, it didn't have a cafeteria. And so uh, the, the board uh, decided to move the academy into uh, what had been Genesee Humble. The uh, NAACP and some local people had filed a lawsuit uh, some few years before uh, on behalf of a class action suit on behalf of everyone, I guess, and their mother to integrate the schools. And when, when, when the courts uh, ruled in favor of the lawsuit, uh, Bill Academy had the only real, the board decided that the way they were going to integrate their schools was to do it by magnet schools. They were going to create uh, several magnet schools that would draw white people into the black community. And Bill Academy was put in, uh, in into that group. As a matter of fact, Bill was a magnet school already, and so they used it as a model to uh, to integrate the schools. I was against integration uh, of Bill Academy. Uh, I was not one who favored the the uh, desegregation orders or the efforts by the plaintiffs to, quote, integrate the school. And at the time of the orders, the school system in Buffalo was 55% African American, rather uh, white, and 45% uh, African American. Um, today, it's 65% African American and 35% white. Much to do about, I wouldn't say nothing, but I would say that uh, it, it uh, integration just was something I didn't support at the time. I didn't feel Build Academy should have had the support uh, to integrate. However, I uh, felt that the recommendations from Mrs. Mayo and others to move the school from the, the, the Montessori facility to the old the Genesee Humboldt uh, Middle School or Junior High School, which was a newer facility, uh, was a good one. And I, I did applaud the move. Um, I, I was disappointed that integration was forced upon the school. We're not looking for the instant result, and we cannot have instant results. I'm sure that some of the programs that uh, the school department has proposed here are going to be good programs, and some of them may not be good. But simply because some of them are not good, it seems to me it would be a mistake uh, to say, well, uh, let's throw the whole thing out and start over again. I think it takes uh, year in and year out day in and day out, uh, attention of all individuals in the community. When the schools were integrated, we were told that we had to integrate or close so that 1974, 75 was a time of going out into the wider community to let them know what Build Academy was all about because we had to attract, and the term magnet means attract, we had to attract others who were not minority to the building. Um, I want to correct perhaps a misconception 
the Build Academy was always integrated. It was always open to all children, regardless of race. It uh, was perhaps touted in the newspaper as being a school for black children, and indeed it was created to prove that we could have an effective and marvelous school in the black community that was spearheaded by a black civil rights organization but all children were welcome and we always had white kids. I don't know if white students were interested in going to white parents uh, were really interested in placing their kids in Build Academy. Uh, of course I can't speak on it more recently in more recent years but during the time in the heyday of Build Academy from 69 to 78 or so, uh, almost to 69 to 79, uh, there was very, very few, if any, requests from that. I think in, in different times we had one or two students in the school. So it was not a policy to reject white students. We started with a few white children. We always had a few white children. But uh, when we were told that we had to integrate, it meant that we had to increase our percentage of white students. Now that was going to be difficult because we had pretty much a full population in the building and the space that we had accommodated those students nicely. But uh, we, had, we, we had been told that we were going to be given an additional site, a larger space, if we could integrate. So we had to go to all areas of the city, east side, west side, north side, and south side even into areas that we didn't consider, consider to be friendly to us. And we had to talk to those parents and talk about our educational program and talk about our staff and talk about what we felt our institution needed to be and was and to convince them that they should send their children there. And we must have impressed people because we were able to begin our school on Genesee Street at the old Genesee Junior High School, which had become our new Build Academy site, we were able to completely integrate the pre-kindergarten class. It was a 50-50 ratio, 50% white, 50% black. How did we feel about it? We felt on the one hand that this was good. At least we were being accepted as a viable educational institution that we have we had proved ourselves to the point where we had been told you're effective enough, you're good enough, you can remain. So that was good on the one hand and perhaps we may have been a bit skeptical at first. Um, we felt that perhaps we would need to change our approach somewhat. Here we had concentrated on black image but now we needed to become multicultural and we were able to do that.